It's Tuesday, April 11th, 2017, and it's a very, very exciting day because it's two for Tuesday. That's right, the local radio station, instead of just playing one song by each artist, plays two songs in a row. That's two songs from the Eagles, two songs from Led Zeppelin, two songs from ZZ Top. So it's a very, very exciting day. And I've decided to commemorate Two for Tuesday by riding around in circles in this old terrace thing. See, that's where the roof used to be, or maybe not. Here in the city of Newburgh. Now, Mother Nature likes Two for Tuesday, and she celebrates by blowing the wind across the microphone of my camera, to which I still have not affixed one of those little furry things to foil Mother Nature's attempt to ruin the audio. So, I'm gonna talk loud and proud, and if you hear a lot of blowing, that's our good friend Mother Nature. So why am I riding around in circles? It's so that I can show you this mountain bike. This is a hyper wave mountain bike. So let me start with the logo. You're gonna have to forgive me because my shoes are old and ratty. I really went clothes shopping today, but I didn't buy anything. I'm too fat and I'm too cheap. But I promise that at some point I'll get some new shoes Maybe not before my next video, though. This bike's called the Wave. Let me zero in on that part of the bike where it says Wave. And I'm going to be perfectly frank. This bike is a total piece of shit. Pardon my French. Bonjour. French fries, como tali vous, piece of shit, Walmart bike. It still has the Walmart price tag on it, look. All right, so I focused on that for like five minutes just now, and hopefully you got to see that. 99.95. What that means is the person who got this bike from Walmart paid for it, rode it for like a day, got a flat tire, and said, this bike sucks ass. And uh, then they just threw it in the garbage. Yeah, that's where I got this bike. Out of the garbage. So this bike is heavy, even though it has a frame that's supposedly mega light. Look at this. Now you may not have been able to see that because of the vagaries of my riding technique and my camera technique and the sun and so on and so forth, but it says something like mega light construction. Now I don't think that's verifiable, but I don't think it's disprovable either and that's why they can put it on there. Plus I think the front half of the frame is made out of aluminum, so if you stripped all the other junky steel parts off of it, you might in fact have a mega light front frame. This bike also has suspension in the front. And a shock for the rear, which I just showed you. And personally, I would issue the suspension in favor of, say, better parts, better tubing. But I think that it has been proven time and time again that people who go to Walmart looking for bikes like a bike that has a bunch of fancy stuff on it, like a lot of gears. This bike apparently has the X-Track system of gears. I haven't really shifted it much. I'm not going to try it now because I don't want to end up in a higher gear and then fall off. I like the cable routing. I like the cable routing. I don't know if you heard it the first time I said it because the camera was in my crotch. But there's three sets of cable bosses down the top tube. And then there's some cool gussets and stuff. 
usually these full suspension bikes <laughs> full sus full suspension bikes have that and i would call this frame a bow legged design because of the two tubes in the middle and then of course at the bottom bracket area there's what i call the hinge And that is where the two halves of the frame are connected. So, what do I think of this Hyper Wave? Now, I've already said it's a piece of shit, but I don't hold that against it because it's supposed to be a piece of shit. It's a $100 bike from Walmart that you probably could have got on clearance for $69.95. What do you expect? You could buy a used bike on Craigslist if you get lucky. If you're resourceful like me, go to a lot of garage sales and stuff. For a hundred bucks, you could buy a way, way, way better bike. But if you want a brand new, shiny, full suspension, fancy looking mountain bike for $99.95, well, I don't think the hyper <laughs> mega light wave bike is pretending to be anything that it's not. So, plus I love the color. I think it would be a great color if it was used ironically on another bike rather than literally on this bike, but it's all right. So I wouldn't personally recommend the Hyper Wave mountain bike because it's just not my thing. But if you're somebody who wants a cheap full suspension mountain bike, then all right, you know, go ahead, get one, see if I care. Especially if you're like a girl and you like fancy fuchsia color. But I would say, if you want a high quality bike, go buy a high quality bike. If you want a low quality, bouncy, heavy, cumbersome, awkward, full suspension mountain bike that uh, Will, they, will be the envy of your friends if your friends don't know anything about bikes, then go ahead, and Mother Nature seems to be agreeing with me, go ahead and buy the Hyper Wave. Thanks for watching.